All right, welcome to the show. It's the BFBRB SSP. That's right, it's the best freaking basement run, brother, sports show, period. Woo! Welcome to the show. This is my brother Casey. I'm Shay. You know us, we hustle every game that we ever play in, no matter what it is. Our first guest today is from the National Basketball Association. He's an 11-time NBA All-Star. Let's hear it for Sir Charles Barkley. Charles, sir. Thank you. Have young. All right, all right, all right. Sit down. Let's get started. Let's get started. We have a lot of questions. Yeah. Today, okay. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. Can you stand up? We want to start off with Charles. Can you stand up? We just sit down. I know, I know. We just have this thing that we do at the beginning of the show. Charles ain't sturdy. Left, left hand, hand on the ball. For the left hand, and then right arm to the square. Up. Just to like the that. Yeah. And then hold it to the right. Okay. Here we go. So just repeat out for me, if you will. Wait, repeat out. Yeah, just say what I say. I, Sir Charles Barkley. I, Sir Charles Barkley. The former round mound of rebound and 11-time NBA All-Star. The former round mound of rebound and 11-time All-Star. Do solemnly swear to answer the following questions. Do solemnly swear to answer the following questions. Truthfully and honestly. Truthfully and honestly. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Also, as an NBA legend. Go ahead. As an NBA legend. As an NBA legend. Expert sports analyst and overall lover and protector of the game of basketball, I agree that Michael Jordan pushed off of Brian, don't call me Byron Russell, in game six of the heated 1998 championship NBA finals in Salt Lake City, Utah. Thus stealing the rings off of the glorious fingers of John Stockton, Carl the Mailman Malone, Antoine Big Dog Carr, Jeff Hornacek, Brian Russell, and the greatest coach to ever call a game, Jerry the Original Bull Sloan. Did they call that foul? Did yeah. they call that foul? They didn't call that foul. Then it wasn't a foul. That should have been a foul, Charles. Hey, that was listen, a if it, they don't call it, it's not a foul. Whatever. And listen, let's talk about the postman. <laughs> John Stockton was great, and the postman was great also. So I got to give you props there. Right? Stockton to Malone, baby. Stockton. Now, your name's Shane. Shay. Shay with a Y. I'm going to call you Shane. 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 That's, That's close enough, close. isn't it? It works. That's close. Charles Barkley. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. So y'all really brothers? Yes, sir. Can you tell which one's the older one? I'm gonna go with the beard. <laughs> well, both of y'all got beards. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the worst looking beard. What? Stockton to Malone. <laughs> Stockton to Malone, baby. Well, let's get down to the brass tacks. Who is your all-time favorite Utah Jazz player? Let me answer that question like this. My favorite all-time Utah Jazz person is Jerry Shalom. Stockton to Malone, baby. 25 years from now, Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. Knowing that LeBron and Kobe are still playing, who's the best? I've never seen a basketball player better than Michael Jordan. Other than John Stockton and Karl Malone. Stockton to Malone, baby. Okay, so you're drafted and you're drafted onto a team that has a couple greats. Yes. Moses Malone and uh, Dr. J. Yes. How was that like? How well were they to take you under their arms and show you, you know, the they lifestyle? You? Did the... they give you crap? I had to bring uh, Dr. J a newspaper every morning, like at six o'clock. I had to take Andrew Tony warm milk at 11 o'clock at night. I had to carry their luggage through the airport. That's hazing. Right. Yeah. But they treated me great. Just good, clean, fun. Yes. Letting you know you're the new guy. Yeah. Pay yeah. your dues. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Right. Speaking of paying your dues, it looks like you've been paying some dues. How much weight you lost now? I'm down 42 pounds on Weight Watchers. And uh, I feel very good. Really happy with it. Most people who are overweight, they yo-yo dieters. Right. But what happened is they really never changed their eating habits. That's the best thing about Weight Watchers. I tell people, it has changed my eating habits. I ate no vegetables four or five months ago, zero. I ate rice, corn, and potatoes. No other vegetables. And now, let me phrase this correctly, I'm not in love with vegetables. But I feel so much better physically. I mean, that's the most important thing. You like to fish. Love you're, it. You're, you're gonna obviously you're looking at a ranch in Montana to get away, have a place to fish. Yes. So you must love eating fish then. I don't eat fish. Ever? Ever. That's this crazy girl I met named Ellie. 
and she made me eat fish. It tasted just like I thought it was going to taste. It tasted just like fish. You've lost, you know, 42 pounds. Can a normal guy like me start Weight Watchers and expect to lose 42 pounds in four months? I think that Weight Watchers is better for normal people. Like, I only work one day a week. Yeah. So I get plenty of free time to work out on the side and everything. Let's say if you're a stay-at-home mom with a bunch of kids and you can't get to the gym X amount of time, I think Weight Watchers is even better for you. People always ask me, is it easy to do? I say, it's, number one, it is easy to do. But also, if you're really busy, it's going to be even more beneficial to you. I'll tell you what, I saw you in the dress earlier, and I saw your back. Your shoulders look great. Seriously, it's toned. You, well, it's, it's, it's getting better. See, I, I got to work with Weight Watchers on how they weigh people. See, I don't think you should use a scale when you weigh. I think you should get in a full-length body mirror because that's what you know when you're a real fat ass. <laughs> we just have, uh, there was one more question here that I really wanted to get to that I wanted to ask you. Oh, here it is. Um, what is Carl Malone's phone number? It, he still lives in Utah, right? Uh, it's an 80, I think it's 801. 801. Okay. It's in my phone. Do you have your phone? I can don't you have my phone. phone. Can you just run in, is it, can we get him, can we get Charles's can, phone? Bring Charles's phone Is D-Wade still in your top five, by the way? No. He's not? No, he's fired. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go to the fire round where we're gonna ask you a question and you're gonna tell us the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. It's gonna be the same question. Who wins in a bar fight? Tiger Woods, Lance Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. Barack Obama, Mitt Romney. Barack Obama. Snooki Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Danny Ainge, Jimmer Fredette. Oh, Danny Ainge. In a bar fight? In a bar fight. In a bar fight. He's yeah. scrappy, Ainge well, is scrappy. First of all, I've got to figure out how we go get age in a bar. <laughs> <laughs> Mormon <Seven> jokes! <laughs>